What's going on YouTube? It's been a while since I've been on here. I have a video coming out. Sorry for the lighting. I have a video coming out this weekend for you guys on breaks. But I haven't put out something in a while because I've been struggling with the idea of making sure that everything's got to be like polished and good looking and stuff like that. But I'm just going to shoot this real quick on my phone because I feel like it's important and I wanted to show you guys something and give the content back to you guys um, on a specific type of bike and this is for a VTX or really any shaft driven bike all right the idea of servicing it is required obviously but I want to show you guys exactly what that looks like real quick real quick it's not gonna be a long video um, but something that I'm fixing now on a VTX 1800 all right so you have your rear wheel right coupler goes into your final drive all this stuff should be nice and lubed up with the ever popular Molly paste, right? Molly 69, molybdenum disulfide, whatever you want to call it. So, a real service to this coupler is not just putting a paintbrush inside of your Molly and coating these splines. Yes, these need to be coated very well because they wear out and they look like crap when they are worn in. So this coupler, hope you guys, tell me guys what you think in the comments below about, you know, if you mind videos being this kind of chopped up. Um, I feel like as long as the value is good and, and it makes sense to you guys, it's still a good video, but, so the coupler is gonna go in there like that, right? So that means this sits on your wheel like that, okay? There's bearings inside of here, along with a little um, collar, right? So there's actually two bearings in here. A lot of the VTX 1800s, 1300s, all, a lot of the shaft drive stuff has this. Um, the bearings, let me see if I can find them. Probably would have been smarter if I was more organized. So here's one of them, right? They are open on the inside, and as they wear out, it starts to develop a little bit of a noise. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can also feel it. I don't know if you know what the feel of a bad bearing feels like, but this one seems like it's been susceptible to rust, but these bearings are bad. They have a nice little gouge in them that I can feel. They go inside of there. They got to be pressed in and stuff like that, like that. So then both of the open sections are facing towards each other. They sit in here like this, right? And a collar goes in there to rest up against this other bearing on your wheel. Now. All that said, a proper service is not just lubing this, okay? When you pull the tire off, this is what you're gonna see. <clears throat> Supposed to lube all this stuff up, make sure it's nice and wet and full of molly. Very important, but a real service is taking care of that part right there. So let me get this off, because now it's stuck on there. Oh man, this video, you guys are gonna love it. I'm gonna set this down real quick. I'm just gonna have you face me, you know? Deal with it. <clears throat> now it's stuck. See, this is what real footage looks like. Oh crap, now my shirt's stuck. See, look at that. This is what happens. Come on. Oh my gosh, this, is, this was a bad idea. Come on. Jeez. All right, there we go, got it off. All right, so lubing up inside of here with fresh grease is important, right? And, I'm a mess. This section right here. So these are little rubber pads for when you hit the throttle, torque hits the back of this plate, right? Where your shaft drive is, or your final drive coupler. And there's rubber cushion there, just so you don't feel that that instant jerk of when you hit the throttle and the wheel's not ready yet, but the engine is. 
you can get all this grease off, okay? Put fresh grease all over it. This stuff's all old and rusty looking. But there's an O-ring right here. See this? These O-rings, over time, will begin to flatten out. See how it's flattened out? This O-ring is the only prevention of water, debris, dirt, rust getting inside of here, damaging the bearings, or inside of here. So once this O-ring is on, it seals this inside around that. Okay, keeping all moisture from going inside of there, screwing up stuff inside of here. Um, I've seen these bearings come apart, right? Because this is not just just because these are pressed in, it's not it's not an airtight deal. All right, so I've seen these, these bearings come apart um, from just being dried out, and I've seen these get chewed up. And see how the spline is like looks really good right now, but I've seen them like. Imagine half of that spline gone from it jerking forward like this and not being lubricated, all right? There's also an O-ring that goes around here, which I have right here, which I replace. Um, the reason why I, I wanted to bring this up is because when you, let, let's say, I mean, I, I know a lot of you guys are not doing your own rear tires, but let's say you pull the tire off to bring it to a shop and um, they do the tire for you. Hopefully I'm in frame and there's, they don't do that full kind of service. That's up to you. Now, the reason, or another reason why I'm bringing this up is because of the whole um, dark side trend, the whole rear car tire thing. Don't ask me in the comments below what, I, what is right and what is wrong. In some applications, I, th I think it's really good. For sidecar applications, I think it's perfect. You know, um, I don't like the way it feels, but that doesn't mean it's bad. What is bad is not servicing your coupler. That, for a fact, I know is bad, okay? So, if I have all kinds of shadows on my face, I, what, I, what I'm trying to get at is that if you put a car tire in there and then you go, um, what, my car tire lasts 30,000 miles, that's great. If you go 30,000 miles without taking your tire off, you have a problem, all right? You will have a problem. So that's my main concern is on Valkyries, GL 1800s, some VTX 1800s, running a car tire and being like, well, don't have to go in the rear end anymore. That's not smart. Um, so that's my eight minute spiel on servicing the rear spline. Sorry this video is real choppy. I know it's not as polished as it should be or maybe it shouldn't be. Maybe this should be kind of raw footage for you guys, but I wanted to give more content to you, and um, with the Motorcycle and MD Inner Circle membership, I spent a lot of time there now, because those guys are awesome, man, and we're learning a lot. We're going through a 350 motor right now, and there's a lot of content getting put up on that, and what I, I need to do is, is kind of come back a little bit to, to Freeland, you know, and help you guys out and give you guys something to watch, because I, I really do enjoy teaching everybody. So, that's a little unedited, Thing. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, um, be sure to subscribe to my mailing list. I have a free troubleshooting cheat sheet for you guys if you're just now watching this. Um, and also check out the Inner Circle, man. And you might be surprised at how much content goes on there, how much information is on there as well. And lots of car and clean stuff on there that you guys can really benefit from. So thank you for checking this video out. In the comments below, let me know what you think. Would you rather just see more content like this or? Would you rather it be perfect for you, to, for your eyes to gaze upon knowledge? Which I feel like is dumb. But you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys very soon again. A video coming out this week for you guys. Thank you guys for checking the video out. Again, Cody from Motorcycle MD, bringing you guys quality tips and tricks for your next build or your daily rider. I'll see you guys around. Later.